commonly diagnose stand intolerance? You know, stand intolerance can be due to most commonly adverse muscle complaints, maybe due to cognitive impairment. It may be attributed to elevations in uh, transaminases, liver function studies. The most common cause of stand intolerance are muscle adverse events called stand associated muscle symptoms or SAMs. This is a condition that is affecting the proximal musculature. It's uh, symmetric because it's a uh, drug effect. It's an unanticipated um, muscle complaint. It's not a uh, situation where you go out and play tennis and your arm is sore because you haven't played tennis in a long period of time. That would be anticipated. This is unanticipated. Typically what uh, our patients report is inability to rise from a chair or climb stairs because their muscles are weak, their hip flexors are weak. They uh, have uh, you know, more effort for doing different activities. They have difficulty raising their arms above the head. So it's symmetric, it affects the uh, proximal musculature. We need to verify that these symptoms actually dissipate after withdrawal of the medication. And then when we re-challenge with the medication, the same medication at the same dose or an alternative stand, then it returns. And these are some of the fundamental components that we included in the National Lipid Association Statin Muscle Index. Symmetric, proximal, disappears after withdrawal, returns after re-challenge. We came up with an index weighted score. And you may say, well, is this score validated? There's ongoing effort, publication that's soon uh, to appear, that shows that the score that we developed has very strong negative predictive value. What does this mean? That if you score low on the SAMS um, clinical index, it is very unlikely that you have a stand associated muscle complaint. And your physician should explore other possibilities arthritis, fibromyalgia, hypothyroidism uh, as examples. In contrast, if you have a high score, it's very likely that it's going to return upon repeat challenge uh, with another agent. However, we do re-challenge. Why do we re-challenge? We re-challenge because different stands have different routes of metabolism, and a lot of this uh, drug metabolism is influenced by genetics, pharmacogenomics. So the inability to tolerate one stand and one dose doesn't mean you can't tolerate a lower dose, doesn't mean that you can't tolerate alternate date dosing or a different stand altogether. And it's very important that we make every effort to get a patient treated with a statin because statins have been shown over and over again to reduce uh, cardiovascular events. The higher doses are better than the lower doses and we need to uh, try and uh, to make all effort that we can to get people on therapy. Now if people can't tolerate uh, statin therapy because they have true statin intolerance, we know that they have a higher cardiovascular event rate and then we need to uh, provide other solutions for those patients after this uh, rigorous uh, effort to ensure that uh, they truly can't tolerate a statin or multiple statins.